Welcome everyone, this is Viking, and today we're going to be starting up the Gazelle. Right control C to close the cockpit doors. Then, battery, alternator, generator, fuel pump, start the stopwatch. When this thing comes around to 20 seconds, we're going to have a little bit more to do. Turn on these switches down here for the automatic pilot channels. Over here, you got to hold down left click and rotate the scroll wheel until the indicator comes down to level. Over here, scroll up just once to activate it. Over here, scroll up to set the minimum safe altitude. I'm going to say 30 meters. Hold down this button and wait until it stops wobbling. This is well past 20 seconds, so we right click to turn this on. I'm going to release the left click so that goes back. I'm going to hit here to reset the stopwatch. I'm going to turn on the magnetic brake and the trim system. I'm going to switch this over to what does it say? DOP. That uh, basically means that this will show us our way to our waypoint. Um, gonna turn on the VHF and the Fox mic radio. There's a UHF radio down here. Switch that over to FF. You can program in your channel later. Alright, release the rotor brake by pressing and holding home. Then, this yellow throttle, we're going to move that forward very slightly, just a little bit at a time, until we see the rotor start to turn. Then we're going to stop tapping page up, and wait. What we're waiting for is for this short needle to come up and meet the long needle. In the meantime, scroll up a little bit here to give your instrument some illumination. Um, what else have we got? I'm going to switch to the other side. And I'm going to flip up these covers, because we don't need them. I'm going to turn this one tick to the right with a right click. I'm going to turn on the screen. I'm going to right click here to turn on the radar warning receiver. And now I see that the RPMs have, uh, between the rotors and the engine, agree. So I'm going to tap page up a little bit more, but I'm not going to let the long arrow, or the long needle, get ahead of the short needle. I'm going to let the short needle catch up to it after each page up press. Then, when we've got it all the way forward, we can turn on the automatic pilot channels, the nader, and right-click to move this into the vertical GM position. That's important. Right now what we're waiting... Oops, I forgot the pitot heat. Pitot heat. All right, right now what we're waiting for is for these barbershop poles to go away and for these orange bands to go away. Um, flare dispenser. Set that to uh, VE is uh, is fast. Uh, I think it stands for VEET. And LE for lentement is uh, short. So I like to set my flare dispenser to fast. Speaking of flare dispenser, let's pop the cover so that when we hit the button, it actually does something. I believe the common frequency for gazelles is 259. Validate. Okay, 124, 30 Fox mic, all set. If we want to, we can turn on the sand filter. You wait a moment, and when this turns green, it's, uh, it's in effect. We're on concrete, so we don't actually need it. All right, no barbershops and no, uh, no bands. So let's, uh, let's come up into a hover. Actually, right control enter shows you an overlay. You're going to need to apply a fair bit of tail rotor because we are really heavy right now. And I'm just going to come a little bit up off the ground. We're right next to a pretty big building, so I'm going to turn to face it so I can keep an eye on that. Maybe even back up a little bit. And then reduce my speed, come into a hover. If I want to see my current speed, um, I put the nader into the... Uh, the VS Dur. Um, I like to think that VS stands for velocity or speed. It probably stands for something French, but it helps me remember it. Um, then one up from that shows you down here your estimated time to reach your target. Uh, because we're hovering, it's not reliable, but it's uh, it's in minutes. So if you're en route to a target, you can you can check your ETA. PP stands for present position. Tells you where you are right now. And boo. 
is uh, is your waypoints. So if I want to go to waypoint two, I can just hit two, back to one. Uh, three, four, okay. So there isn't really... Okay, there's, uh, so waypoint four seems like it's just coming right back here because four and five are identical. I've only got four waypoints. That means that five, six, seven, eight, and nine are going to be my home airfield. That's why they're all identical, and it's why they're all pretty close to my PP present position. If I want to store my present position, then I switch to that present position. I hit uh, gelée for which is French for freeze. Then I switch over to boo, which is the same except that it's got a three in the last position. And then because I've got something frozen already, I can just I can pick waypoint nine and I can hit enter, and it will turn to whatever I had basically copied to the clipboard. Uh, in PP, uh, gelée means copy to the clipboard, and in boo, uh, enter means paste from the clipboard. So it can be uh, helpful for storing locations if you're out in the field and you need to come back and need to go back to base and refuel, um, but, uh, but you don't want to lose track of where you were. Uh, over here we've got the fuel gauge. It's worth keeping an eye on that. When it gets down to 30, then you can turn on the uh, auxiliary fuel tank, uh, fuel tank switch and, um, uh, and access that. When this tank is empty, uh, turning the switch on makes the light red. Well, I think that's about it for starting the gazelle. Cheers, everyone. See you next time.